question for a question is an answer. Hmm. Hmm. Is it an answer? So I am trying to search for a question that will be an answer to the question for a question is an answer. Why do you think you have to search for a question which is a don't you have like don't you have a question all for yourself which you can answer which you can question to get an answer? That's a very good question. Uh, you can't read it. You, you are out. <laughs> <laughs> hey Rishi. Hey, what's up? Nothing, man. You keep creating rooms for fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to get into that debate with you. I'm too bored of debating with you. It's like hitting a wall. <laughs> Not it's like. Anyways. Hello, Mr. Thanks. Um... Yeah, hello. Hi, my HP. Hello, hello. Uh, hi, bro. Hi, everyone. All right. So, this is just a casual hangout room. So, mm, okay, talk about philosophy or uh, you have any questions, but make sure that it's philosophy of some kind. Floor is open. No particular topic. Philosophy. Mm-hmm. So, did you conclude? What What was the conclusion of your room? Yes, the conclusion is um, astrology is not scientific <laughs> because <laughs> nothing. No one could wish were creating the chain even like room. give. Ah, uh, what? You you keep creating the same room, reaching out to the conclusion, the same conclusion every time. Yeah. Right. I respect your opinion, but I I don't accept fact but I don't want to get into debate with you and done with you mm-hmm. yeah hello Aditya how are you yeah uh, hello Ji. happy you got everyone I think most of you are not Telugu's but if they are Telugu's happy you got The topic is like question for a question. Do you think you can answer a question with a question? What do you guys think? Hello? Are you able to hear me? I think I thought the answer for the question that says is question. You know, question and answer. You're not being serious, right? (laughs) How can a question be an answer? I don't know. I'm asking you. Yeah, like yeah, I don't I don't think so. Well, I, it's fine. If you're doing it, it's fine. If you're asking a question, then you can uh, you can ask a question back, which might as like um you can put a flag to the first question and just like explore the other question, which might lead some insights to the initial question. Like, that's fine. That's and it could also be the case. It could also be the case if you ask a question in reverse. Maybe that will maybe help you realize the answer. That is also the case. But the question itself cannot be considered as an answer. Uh logical so you're saying but but if let's say if something points you out to a solution isn't that an answer something what the, the same thing what you just said what uh, what i mean to say is just say you ask a question okay and uh, someone else asks asks you uh, i mean uh, instead of giving an answer they give you a question and that gives you a good insight and your question is answered 
do you don't then can i call that that question which the other person has asked is the answer for the question which you have asked no right that is distinct from the answer that they have realized the two different entities okay. it will be simple if we think about it like in mathematical terms right if you ask like mm -hmm. like what is 3 into 4 then you ask well what is 3 plus 4 How how can that be answered? The question. In three into four and three plus four is all different. Then what if I ask you, uh, instead of calling, uh, instead of asking three into four, what if I say find the answer by doing four into three? Then that's an answer, right? You no, no, that would answer. still not be the answer. Mm -hmm. But it's giving you insight, right, Rishi? As you just said. See, but if you find out an answer. You can just say, "Well, what is three into four?" But then that is, if I say, if I ask you, "What is four into three?" That's not an answer. If I say, "Well, it is four into three," then it would be an answer. This is more like we're getting into language and so on. Okay, just the play That's of all the language. Right. Is, it has nothing to do with the answer as such. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I agree. So we have a question master here. Samaji. Actually, what I say, what I will say here is that the question for a question can be an answer because uh, that type of thing is called as rhetor uh, rhetor uh, rhetorical questions. Okay, so like uh, I can give you an example for that. Like, what do you uh, like if I ask someone, uh, what do you want to do tonight? And someone replies me, do you want to uh play pool or something like do you want to play billiards but there 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 is an answer in that question which is hidden i guess i mean they are they are uh, they are giving possibilities so if we get possibilities uh, out of the questions also then i think we uh, can have answers uh, answers after all answers are just the possibilities means uh, possibilities and probabilities of the things okay so every answer you seek is a possibility and probability which is uh, what what will happen in this uns uncertain world so if if i ask the question to uh, some guy like what you are going to do tonight and he uh, answers in some way like asking a question like do you want to play pool do you want to play billiards so like he is giving me a, a kind of possibility and a, a possibility through that question also so if i get possibilities or uh, possibility of probability of doing something then then there is an answer in that question too that's an interesting take uh, Sir Sitarth wow that's a good name by the way Sitarth what does yeah thank you so much man crit what 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 exactly does this mean crit arth means i got it so what what do you want crit arth means sat satisfied uh, what is the full full word Kritarth. Kritarth means satisfied. No, okay, I know. Arth means meaning, but I'm trying to understand. Like, what is the first uh, word in this word? Kritarth is it? Ah, uh, Hindu. Hind. Ah, uh, मतलब it's a name of a Hindu child. Okay, so Kritarth is like used in Sanskrit and stuff. Like, ki ah, uh, if someone's talking to you and he tells that ki ah, uh, while talking to you, I'm Kritarth means. While to, uh, while having a talk with you, I am satisfied. I had a great moment with you. Means you made me cr feel kritarth, like I have made you feel kritarth is something like that. Got it, got it. Okay, that's that's interesting. All right, come. Yeah, you, what's your take on my uh, answer, man? <laughs> means uh, means no, I what I, 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 I liked it. So basically, you are saying a question uh, could have no, an actually, hidden an answer article, within it. it. It's a rhetorical question. So, uh, question. These type of questions with uh, are answered with questions are called rhetorical questions. And uh, answer is what? What answer is? If anyone wants an answer from you, he wants a possibility and probabilities. Means what he will do next or what is going to happen next in this uncertainty. Okay. So that's no, what an answer. Uh, predominantly, not all questions are like that. Some questions expect you to give a precise answer. Just say if you pick up the scientific realm. 
you have yeah, quite yeah, yeah. precise answers but your, but but no, nothing is precise in this universe man uh, you can't tell, you can tell about a, a, a electron where where it's going to stay it's not precise everything is uncertain like heisenberg's uncertainty uncertainty principle and then einstein's uh, relativity and in uh, godel's incompleteness so everything tells about this dual world that that everything is kind of uncertain like a paradox means uh, like you have even uh, know this uh, this schrodinger's cat cat uh, experiment like cat cat and poison wala thing like cat exist and does not exist at the, at the same moment so you can't tell anything is pre- the, that there is something called precise see i i accept with you because i'm a i'm kind of a spiritualist uh, i i i don't proclaim maybe i think i am but people call me agnostic i really don't know what i am but i kind of agree <laughs> with you but scientific uh, bent people like, like the one who who just entered <laughs> he doesn't agree with you for sure so this uh, i okay let him explain it yeah let him explain it yeah, for sure have a very good counter for you i'm i mean counter in the sense not just for the sake of fun of it it will be nice to listen from him too yeah kameji you can also talk and ravana you can also talk anyone okay please. let's do one thing uh, you are asking question, is question for a question uh, an answer right so let's try it out right so you ask me a question i'll try to answer you with the question and i'll see if i can answer you with the question so can, Ra- the can ravana answer uh, kamaji what do you think can ravana answer the question uh, the uh, can ravana counter what kritarth has just said what is your answer for that what do you think uh, um, the mood is right now do you think ravana yeah yeah kamai can continue jayani kamai yeah. చెప్పండి వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ మూడ్ డూ యూ థింక్ రావణ ఇస్ ఇన్ టుడే యా సెషన్ దట్ ఇ ఐ డోంట్ నో రావణ ఎట్ వాట్ వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ మూడ్ ఐ యూ ఇన్ హెవీ ఆఫ్ ద డిన్నర్ ఐ థింక్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద కరెంట్ టైం రావణ ఇస్ ఇన్ రైట్ నౌ ఓ ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ అరౌండ్ 9 852 no you are you are concluding we are not uh, that's a, that's a different thing ravana don't conclude anything just go answer with a question <laughs> that's a fun of it yeah. the, the easiest question is what do you think <laughs> <laughs> that's a good a good escape question i do right yeah exactly if you are with a guru you ask him a question and he, he, in a in a way where you are actually wanting to know an answer he might put a bigger question or a rhetorical question for you to make you think for the answer yourself that is all a, a nice way uh, that is a different way of uh, you know uh, questioning uh, you use questions to come to the truth or an answer but in general vitandavadam you know about the word called vitandavadam we just want to keep a question for everything just question everything because you don't have an answer those kind of questions are not answers but they are actually uh, what do you call because you don't have an answer you keep questioning right so uh, there these kind of things will actually test the patience of the people most of the time so it depend on the intention of the question and the intention of the uh, question which is being given you as an answer by the other person so if those intentions are not straight forward then obviously it's not an answer it is more of a counter yeah that's, yeah actually kamaya summed it up pretty nice what i wanted to say like you can uh, you can invoke questions in order to uh, give an answer but that should be a clear intent you should come out clear i do that a lot of time but i tell people why am i doing this what is my, am i am i encountering am i being in a conversation where i am trying to refute them refute their premises then i will indulge in questioning all of their premises but in general conversation question for a question is technically a logical fallacy than anything else it's one of the classical logical fallacies i forgot the name so i think it's called begging a question or something so the thing is the moment you ask another question for the question you are actually escaping the escaping uh the burden of answering what you are 
uh, interlocutors like what the other person in the debate said so it's what more if, of a escape what if the it. answer is experiential so let's say if you have to answer with an with certain experience or maybe you have mm-hmm. to make the other person realize certain experience then a mm-hmm. question for a question isn't it isn't it the apt answer then uh, yeah exactly uh, the irony is you have to uh, make it clear that it's experiential and it's it it comes purely from like uh, my perception and understanding and what i have then then wouldn't that then person that intention yeah, should be sure, open sure sure see this is this is coming out of various debates ravana i think you got the point so basically wouldn't then that person outrightly deny that uh, if it is an experience i can't Uh, i don't want to get into argument or rather uh, negate the position of the other person because it's an experience and no one uh, i mean the other person would negate it because he is not interested in getting the experience as such. okay yeah that's a valid part that's a valid part of the argument that person is not refuting the question he is refuting the premise okay one... you're refuting the premise on your basis then it's it's up to you you nobody can argue against that okay so yeah. here i want to I, i want to give one example here to mind speak mind speak if i say uh, uh, how are you feeling uh, so you tell me how are you feeling no i'm asking you how are you feeling no mm, you tell me first how are you feeling so this is argumentation this is not no no, no that's a, that's that's different see you tell me how are you feeling is different what do you think okay the i ask question for a question okay. is not is not a, a stupid question rather, right no actually in the kame ga read in the same context sir like the earlier question kame ga what's the time i just told him what do you think he asked me something really subjective because i have made this space he's not in this space he won't know what is the time he have to figure it out later so <laughs> in that context will the answer be valid if you think in that context it, it just makes sense even subjectivity can be expressed even subject there are a lot of social context where we purely observe stuff subjectively if i ask you how is the weather today you may say it's cold but it's it's highly subjective you and i can't define what is cold so in that sense uh, it doesn't need to uh, give a extra question like it can be simply answered we doesn't need to mystify it you can demystify no it's not about mystifying or uh, there is no co- concept of mystifying it here the the, the uh, say uh, how does uh, how does this how is this painting uh, does this painting look good so that's the question okay so that's again subject to experience right because it's an experience so do you see uh, do you see a man walking so, on the moon in there that's a thing where yeah. i'll ask a simple i'll give a simpler example if somebody asks what is consciousness then the other person says what do you think consciousness is then that guy who has asked what is consciousness now has to figure out what is consciousness and he'll tell something then again you'll ask one more question what do you think this is what do you think that is because you don't have an answer whatever the other person says you keep throwing questions it's almost like a ping pong ping pong anything you throw so sometimes you are actually figuring out your own answers but you just need a medium in between there that question is not actually an answer for you but it is actually giving you the bounce surface for you to question yourself again you are asking your own questions yourself number of times but this this kind of questioning whatever because i've seen some of your rooms where this kind of bounce questions keep coming in whatever you say again what do you think what do you think it is what do you think it is again the question is thrown back to you constantly so you think for the next level of the question you dissect the question further and you know break it into a smaller question or a smaller smaller thing finally you'll have your own answers so that is a methodology that's not answering a question with a uh, you are not answering a question with a question you are helping the other person figure out his own answer with your question that question is not giving you the answer at all Yeah, it's the difference between playing squash and playing uh, tennis. Exactly, it is squash. <laughs> yeah, you have to realize whether we are playing squash or tennis. If we if we are thinking that we are playing tennis and ended up being in the squash field, we will really feel pissed off. 
that's the irony majority of the times we think we are playing tennis but we are not yeah for uh, for playing squash you actually don't need another person if you question your questions yourself when you're getting a question you question why did you get the question in the first place then you go into the root cause and things like that you might be having a lot of other answers also for many other questions which you never thought why did you even get this question in the first place you would think that way but when you're asking somebody else a question and you're not getting an answer but you're getting a question in return this is basically uh, not an answer but uh, a counter guru is here hi guru what's happening why is the silence yeah nikhil was also asking the same thing nikhil are you able to hear us i am not able to hear nikhil uh nikhil's mic seems to be on but i am not able to hear like mind speak can you check whether his mic is on or not i don't know how do i oh okay yeah if like, you click uh, on his profile you'll get an icon whether his mm-hmm. mic is on or not. yeah I, i'm not able to do anything with his profile like it's frozen yeah he is buggy i'm moving him to audience we can bring him back invite him again guru? Can... hi guru nikhil are you able to hear us Yeah, bro. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you uh, can talk. Ah, in that kind of thing, silent or not? Or another kind of problem? Yeah, looks like uh, you have some issue out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm like not like. <laughs> yeah, we're just exploring this question to question thought process. So. i think a uh, question to question uh, if they are introspective that would uh, help us answering certain questions and i would call that question as answer for the earlier question but there are contradictions here coming from there so let's see who's going to go there philosophy lo deconstruction is done okati untadi ante vallu ichina question ni deconstruct chesi అందులో ఏం అందులో ఏముంది అంటే మీ అడిగిన క్వశ్చన్ ఎట్లుందని దాన్ని ముక్కలు ముక్కలు చేసి చూపిస్తారు సో వాళ్ళు ఆన్సర్ ఇవ్వరు కానీ మనం మనం అడిగిన క్వశ్చన్లో ఉన్న అవి ఉంటాయి కదా మీనింగ్ లెస్ దాన్ని మనకే చూపిస్తారు can you a context lo uh, nikhil if you are expecting answer from the other party and they insist on uh, getting answers from ourselves wouldn't that be softer like wouldn't that be really irritating and ardham gale bro ante you will be expecting like you ask a question and other party will be like yeah uh, I, i will ask a questions which will make you realize your own answer uh, but you are indulging in that argument in order to figure out together but rauna do you remember uh, did you see any sadguru's things like basically when he speaks he says isn't it isn't it it's also a question but he's already giving the answer and asking isn't it later so he's giving presenting an answer and putting a question word later then he are saying yes or no basically but because he's already provided you with the answer and an option yes or no so if you look at it even buddha when he was in debates and all uh, when the questions are being asked by the pandits and all he put in a situation Yeah. Okay let's let's not pick up spiritual stuff let's pick up the scientific stuff because spiritual stuff you you have lot of to beat around 
So let's pick up uh, something so which is uh, 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 I'm I'm going uh, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to tell you something. I am telling you right now about uh, a way of uh, giving an answer, and in the end I'm asking you, do you agree or not? That is a question, right? But I've already provided the answer for. Agree you. or not is an opinion. How is that a question? Uh, yes or no is a question. Yes or no is not a question. It's your uh, you are sorry, asking for an opinion. Sorry, 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 sorry. I was um, chatting. Sorry, I wasn't like. He was busy chatting with his girlfriend, maybe, and a uh, lot of air no, is no. coming. <laughs> no, is it? What is this? He is flying in the air right now. <laughs> he is in. Mostly he's in front of a cooler. Don't exaggerate stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? As a opinion or a question? See, yes or no is never in a question. It's always in a yeah. opinion. In a yes or no context, you already gave a, a statement, and you're just checking whether your opponent is. Agreeing with that or not? You are not expecting a yeah, complete in ideological answer. Yeah, because in school we used to answer yes or no. That's a reason. Do you mean to say that doesn't fall into a question kind of a thing? Into the into no, how the, would that fall? Because the, the answer is already given in the question, and they are asking your opinion on that particular answer. Whether how you agree be, or not. Be? For example, uh, I can say, doesn't the world uh, look like it's just reflections on a broken mirror? Then you can say yes or no. It's up to you. I have given my opinion. I am not asking you. What are you like? What do you think about how the world is projected, how the world works? I am not asking you meta metaphysical question. I am just giving my opinion and just checking whether whether my interlocutor is agreeing with that or not. Whether we are in the same page or not. In order to continue with the conversation. So I don't see it as a really like strong opinionated question. It's a so there is a difference in uh, questioning also. Like there are two kinds of questions, like closed questions and open questions. So open end questions are those where you can give your opinion, where you can expand on the answer. Closed questions are those where you have to either agree or disagree with something. So, yes or no questions are actually closed questions, like they are classical closed closed questions, and open-ended questions are like general questions we ask, like what do you think about this. So, in a closed question, you are not really putting your thoughts into it. You are just checking whether you agree with the opponent or not. So, I don't see closed questions as really problematic in this specific context. I usually prefer open. -ended. Yeah, could I communicate or I complicate it? No, I I got the point. Uh, no. Closed one or an open one, whatever you said right here. Yeah, SR no is a closed question. SR no, you don't you don't get a chance to expand on the answer. What I mean is, what I mean is, uh, above it is written question for a question. Now we are talking about uh, closed question, open question. So now we have to every question we have to now find out whether it is an open question or a closed question. Then we have to define, right? Because now there is no point. Uh, question is not a question anymore. Question uh, is of many types of questions now. Which question are you talking about, mind speak? What type of question? Yeah, that's are actually a good question. That's actually a good question, and <laughs> which is an open-end question. Yeah, any any kinds of see the a question is something which is an exploration in explorative in mode and rather which helps you out uh, in getting an answer. So that I think I'm talking about open-ended questions, not opinion. You think that is the only thing which can be considered as a question? Other things are not. That, that's very much subjective. If I can, I can uh, we we both can debate up to an eternity that something is a question, something is not a question. So it's totally subjective. Let's let's stick to the open-ended questions for sake of this topic. So I, yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, Ravana, bro, I think you know this. Uh, Ludwig Wittgenstein. Uh, actually, we are talking about a uh, question for a question is an answer. If we are talking about not uh, from we say language from uh, there is a meaning uh, to the language within 
uh, generally but ludwig einstein uh, ludwig einstein philosophy of language or uh, linguistics uh, he uh, actually he took up a challenge to answer all philosophical problems and like he says that uh, language is uh, uh, philosophy is a b b bewitchment of uh, sorry please help bewitchment of our intelligence by means of language like he says there are no philosophical paradoxes there there may be there may exist uh, mathematical par- paradoxes or scientific sorry, sorry scientific there are other paradoxes but there are no philosophical paradoxes because philosophy is an activity uh, to analyze language so uh, he says that uh, there is a limit to our language uh, within that limit we can uh, we can communicate and we can express our our la- our language without contradiction but when you go beyond that uh, language uh, there there come there, there arises some uh, paradoxes because of language but uh, as you as you, uh, as you see like uh, if you think some, some metaphysical uh, problems you if mixed up with uh, some contradictions because uh, language can't define that metaphysical uh uh like that the language doesn't go that uh, near to metaphysical questions so that's what he said he said about this yeah wittgenstein also talks about like what kamegar earlier pointed out like the intention of uh, words the intention of statements there is a difference between like what you are saying and what you are intending to say so uh the best conversation will be when we can figure out both the intentions of both the people who are involving in the conversation and i see like uh, in open end question we mostly forget about why the other person is asking the question in the first place so if we figure out that i think uh, questions can be legitimate but it's complicated as we were talking earlier yeah reshma you want to talk yes sir reshma or other Uh, can someone i mean i uh, yeah can can someone reset it yeah please guys uh, even i didn't i was i thought this is something else and there something else was going on yeah and i didn't mind speak what you do the honors because no i would no, 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 i had no, out from so I, 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 yeah sure so basically guys uh, uh what i'm suggesting is question for a question is an answer that's what i'm trying to inquire certain time in certain situations let's say both way both ways in philosophy you a question for a question seems to be answer but that's not particularly answer because it is self self inquiry and uh, what do you say what do you call this uh, uh, experience derived but in scientific realm let's say uh, let's say the question of uh, let's get into the scientific realm then we'll we'll try to find answers by deduction like what is this and then what is inside it and then what is inside it and then what is inside it these are all these are all popping up because of the inquisitiveness of and questioning ourselves uh, about the uh, the composition of uh, the other uh, the existing uh, uh, entity so that's what i'm trying to understand in my perspective both philosophically spiritually scientifically or exploration wise everything a question for a question can can be an answer or at least lead us to an answer is that yes or no is another question it's a closed loop question to uh, to understand an open or whatever ravana was saying i <laughs> forgot the term open ended question so so basically it's just a philosophical and uh, normal conversation so you it's a uh, you can start afresh or you can start from what we have discussed it's up to it's up to you totally Well, I get there are too many questions here. So, uh, question for a question. Well, I think uh, why do we ask questions in the first place? I think we need to discuss that. Uh, yeah, probably that's a good place. Questions? Yeah, that's a good place to start. Yeah, Reshma, lead the lead the lead the show. Yeah. So, when do we ask a question, and how do we ask a question? That's my question now. Uh, Ravana can answer, I guess. I I would prefer Ravana to go last and uh, Kamaji to go at last as well. So Guru, Nikhil, and Arvind, you can pitch in. 
and uh, let's you four discuss then uh, Ravana and Kamaya ji can add the points to it please okay I'll uh, see I can think of I can only think of uh, first at first I thought of people then I thought of situations then I went behind the intention so I have three steps of explaining this and eh? what I think and this might be wrong uh, hopefully but the first thing was uh, I thought of intellectuals who who are the intellectuals answer questions with questions the, the first one I was think of someone said Sadhguru yeah, I, it was not that him but um, I was th- thought about Jiddu Krishnamurti he's a uh, yeah he's an intellectual by all, all the means I can I can certain okay this guy always uh, answers a question with question um, he see this is like uh, opening up a clear chart and giving them the, you know giving them the formula okay uh, he he do it so, so gently the other person doesn't feel uh, awful right but i i know other other persons when there is an argument going on with, between two in, uh, intellectual about a sensitive topic uh, take it religion <clears throat> or uh, racist you know uh, kind of things uh, if in that case when someone answers a questions with a, a question uh, see the first thing is if someone is answering a question with question it means uh, it is evident they are just uh, uh, trying to get the uh, answer out of them out of the other person right so let's say <clears throat> i'll give you a scenario a little uh, clear uh, two persons are talking and one is talking about uh, uh, yeah female uh, operation towards men there is nothing there is no, no right but it was there sometimes and uh, the other person is talking about um, men uh, patriarchy men operation towards women and uh, the person who is talking about uh, women's uh, no operation will just co- the only thing he can do is you can, you can see out the world you, you can say it like that or he can just uh, ask a question like you know it's because i'm not able to uh, explain it right but uh, the point here is uh, making it self evident so it's all over uh, the place you, you just need to open your eyes to see that that's the it's kind of insult in a heat argument but uh, yeah i don't think I, I i i don't want to be in that place in an argument you know be uh, willingly uh, being blind people do that a lot so yeah uh, you can do do it anyways but you, you can, can you summarize it brother i'm not able to understand a single bit okay. of it sorry so you know to know about jisdi krishnamurti and uh, okay uh, you can uh, this uh, answering a question with a question is a root thing in this uh, current poll we live in it, it depend it depends on the you know figure also you know the one who is answering the question if it is an 80 plus year old wisdom guy people take it they don't get up and down and if it, if it is me answering a question with question what what do i know right what, why, did, what did i see why are you not why are you not qualified to answer a question with a question no i am it's not about qualification it's it's about the you know consideration how people consider that's the thing i am driving no, no, from no, the no, start you are you are expressing the public opinion tell us tell me your particular opinion not mm, interested what, what yeah i am i am i am very well that's the kind of you know i i would i would like to be in that conversation but i look full but i'm okay to do okay, that so what exactly to get an answer reshma was asking what exactly is a question what exactly is a question do you what do you think is a is a question for you question question is anything that you say there are two things a lot of people they know the answer and they still ask it to prove a point or uh, uh, you know that that's there but there are people who are really seeking and really wanting to know there are two types of questions i only i only think of so the first type of questions doesn't really that that's 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 the kind of questions in club house you know happens a lot the second type of questions are rare but that's the question i can't tell you the exact question do you want me to tell my questions what do i see or what are my big questions no no i'm asking you, you i'm asking you this reshma asked a question she is trying to understand what exactly a question is according to you just go yeah to the question is something someone seeking uh wanting to know you know not uh, trying to re- revolutionize or not to not being a rebel that's not the question that's a motive got it got it thank so question you. is knowing thank you yeah. something which you which enables you your knowledge okay 
That's the answer, Reshma. Sir, I think there are two kinds of questions, and one is why question, and other is what question. So, what question generally deals with mechanics? So you ask, uh, uh, you know, what's the reason behind the uh, fan running right now? So the answer is electricity. And there are why questions. I think why questions are something we deal in philosophy with. So uh, I mean, uh, what's the purpose of existence? so uh, yeah so generally for what questions we need an answer we really need a clear cut answer so if i ask you the question why is the fan running i'm expecting you an answer is because it's due to electricity or some kind of mechanics behind it but generally when we ask why questions uh, i think that's where it's a bit of a slippery slope because why questions will uh, never give you a proper answer there is no proper answer for why question so in order to tackle why questions, we ask uh, more questions, if that's making any sense. Oh, Did that make any sense? That, that's a good uh, thing. So uh, let's let's forget about the philosophy. I mean, I'm just out of curiosity, I'm asking uh, people who are bent in uh, towards scientific realm. So are there no why questions in science? Yeah, there are why questions and what questions in science, I guess. Uh, but most of the science deals with, I, I guess this is known as a, a first order reasoning and second order reasoning. So the first order reasoning will be all the scientific question you ask. So the answer lies in the mechanics, etc. And the why question would be more of a meta question. It's It's the philosophical question. So why am I here will be a meta question and uh, you know stuff like that. So there are first order reasoning and second order reasoning. As far as I know, generally science deals with the uh, first order reasoning. It's about uh, mechanics and explanations, etc. Actually, I'm, someone else can explain this better if I'm not mistaken. Scientists in the room or uh, the scientists in the, the room. in the room can answer. Yeah. Why are you making like a resident scientist? You are Astana scientist. Exactly. So the irony is, it's not science which is asking questions. It's humans who are like science. Like I keep on saying, this science is a tool. Science is a method. We will ask questions all the time, but uh, uh, how you are going to find your answers? Like what will be your methodology to find your answers? Um, will define uh, how you're going to find knowledge because like i see the definition of question itself as uh, being a interrogative uh, inquiry into uh, questioning of knowledge it's like yeah you can't avoid the word question testing of knowledge how i know what i know what is this like how is this stuff all these questions like all the questions we pose are basically testing what we already know are basically re-examining or questioning or inquiring what we already know so in that context uh science it science as a method itself can't answer uh, all this is not like is not into the business of answering like why stuff is here it's 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 into completely like material understanding of how stuff is here. Yeah. It's, it's about mechanism rather than purpose and essentializing. Yeah, science doesn't answer essential questions. It's like you, can, you can't use the essential word in different contexts. It's, it's a philosophical essence. Science doesn't involve with essential questions. It just answers like mechanical questions. Yeah, so my point is when it comes to science, uh, if you're asking a question for a question, uh, that doesn't make much of sense, right? But when it comes to philosophy, where you're asking a question for a question, say the typical Socratic method or something, that's where it make much of sense. So my idea, my uh, the thing I'm trying to communicate is that asking a question for a question uh, wouldn't make much se uh, sense in a scientific thriller. It doesn't really matter whether it is science or philosophy. The point is there is something called uh, there is a there is a methodology called uh, uh, one thing. Uh, 
which is called uh, cascading, cascading information model right uh, in the cascading information model you you have a complex question in mind but as you question the question you get some sub questions where you are able to discover or throw light into much more area where the question itself becomes a little more simpler for example in business when we are thinking about doing some kind of tasks or anything the question for us or the challenge for us is we want to do we want to reach particular goal how do we reach that goal for that goal what are the then we have the next question what are the kras key result areas for reaching that particular goal okay if these are the key result areas for reaching that goal what would be the key performance indicators for this goal so we keep questioning the question itself to come down to a level of breaking it down into an achievable target then we have the answer of how to reach that particular complex milestone or a or a goal right so it can be used in business it can be used in science or it can be used in philosophy anywhere but this is called the cascading information model mainly so you cascade the information further down so you have a question for example i would say i want to build a house now uh, I, I, you have a goal called i want to build a house then you are questioning yourself so what would be my budget then you question the next one like uh, by what time do you want to have the house there might be number of questions which might be deriving you to the destination itself right and make it possible so sometimes the unfeasible can become feasible by questioning the questions right and then Uh, you'll have a feasible answer for it. Yeah, actually, this is the standard method proposed by uh, Alkarizmi for solving algebraic equations. So he talks about the same method, like, but he calls it algorithm. Like, the whole concept of algorithm comes from uh, this method, like how we break down. a larger question into manageable parts which can be comprehended and achieved or figured out so yeah this is yeah, so very abstract question we have to question that question obviously for us to break it down in the first place right? yeah manageable so uh, breaking down into manageable pieces which can be like so for example i was in one company where we had one issue for example uh, you'll always have some kind of a trouble right with some people or something we used to go to the hr for example for resolution she used to have this method she'll always ask the 5w1h method why what how everything everything you have to define and once you go into everything again she'll go into the 5w1h method further 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 so that's a very valid uh, scientific method of breaking it down and getting to the root cause analysis or things like that so there is also questions only but the question uh, the, the question to the question is not giving you the answer but might help you figure the answer right it doesn't really mean that the question itself is an answer for a question but the question to the question can help you reach your answer but there is there is also this problem of intent we earlier talked about where um like this frequently so like this frequently happens like uh people uh, when they want to avoid a uh, conversation when they want to avoid a question they pose a paradoxical question or a uh, structure of argument which which can be answered in a uh, regular conversation and uh, they say yeah so the argument breaks down so there comes the intent of why you are asking a question why you are posing a question as uh, your answer so did uh, did did these questions and answers answer your question mind speak if yes please uh, raise your hand to join the room we won't bring you into the room but at least we can record your response request to join the panel
He is still not satisfied with the discussion. We need to discuss further. <laughs> hey, sorry, I was I was in a call, so I had to move down. So I just cut the call and came up. So. So uh, I, I'm trying to explore the scientific uh, method of it. So I will listen to the replay. So please bear with me. Uh, uh, I'm spiritually, uh, from spiritual side or philosophical side, there are uh, questions to the questions would uh, get, throw you into the, the process of inquiry and uh, they will uh, let you, you know, uh, get deeper inside you. But I'm trying to understand the scientific realm because I think uh, even science also does the same thing. That's how we are... Uh, we are in place what we are right now because of that. Uh, that's all from my side. Thank you. The science is just a methodology, right? Scientific method, methods it's called. So whatever you do in science is nothing but a process or a method. That's all. It doesn't have this abstract questioning and all in science that way. They are very, uh, like how they are trying to define the finite, they also have the questioning in the same way, in a finite way. They don't go in an infinite way. No, it, I think it's more than that, Amayaji. So, uh, science is, uh, science is uh, more, it, ha, it is a process of exploration, but in, but in, but in its uh, own degree. Maybe How can else? anything without a yeah. question can exist, man? Mm, the I thing is, uh, the limitation of where people see science as being limited uh, comes from its own method. Like, science demands reliability, science demands repeatability science demands uh, all these like uh, ultra reliable standards which which are really uh, complicated to meet up to and sometimes even scientists just like fall into the pond so uh, this way of uh, creating this kind of constraint is usually criticized in philosophical circles but when you, when you get into science uh, the notion of science itself is dependent on the ability to reach a predictable, consistent, and recreatable uh, set of knowledge. Like we can have a lot of knowledge, but uh, where does it all start? Like that, that's the truth of it, right? Where does it all start? The yeah. process of inquiry is, starts at a question only, right? That's that's where I'm finding. Of course, finding. like who is questioning that? <laughs> I already said, like uh, the notion of question itself. Uh, I, I think, I think mind speak. You aren't there. Uh, like I, I was actually defining uh, what is this question. So it's just interrogative expression, uh, which is used to test our knowledge. It, it's just a way of knowing, uh, figuring out whether you know what you know or, or is it incomplete or not where can you fill the gaps where you need to improve this is the purpose of a question but as simple as that it fits a lot of it's not even restricted to science it, you can you can add it into metaphysics you can add it into uh, general philosophy it works everywhere because you're just figuring out knowledge science has a method of uh, creating a set of knowledge which has its own merits so uh, I don't see it as really different, but it has its own things. It's up to us. Yeah. That, that, that basically refutes what Kamaji has just said. In what sense? Uh, basically, science is a method, right? So, but it all starts at a question. So, uh, in this is what I believe. Mean. If you have to. You, you are just throwing statements here, sorry. Once you find, uh, you can't term something science when you're just asking questions and inquiring, but once you want to bring it into the scientific realm, it has to follow the scientific method. Until then, it is still a philosophy, right? You can't call philosophy science. Philosophy is philosophy. Science is science. Yeah. The moment it falls into a methodology, then yes, it is a scientific method. But before that, if you're inquiring, inquiring and thinking and all, it is philosophy only because there is no principal method applied. It's not repeated same questions cannot be asked same way each person thrown with the same same kind of a, a question will come out with a different different kind of interpretations right 
so only when you are able to repeat and get the sa- derive the same answer then it becomes a scientific method but otherwise it might lead you to a scientific outcome but doesn't mean that th- that is science science is science yeah this is actually what my like professor used to say in astronomy he used to say like till you are testing your hypothesis you are in the realm of speculation anybody can do speculation it's it's just uh, as assumptions and derivation of logic until unless you test your hypothesis you're not doing science so in that context questioning itself is like independent of science questioning itself is its own thing how are you defining as i said like it's about figuring out and inquiring knowledge itself how are you creating that knowledge it depends like whether you are uh, assuming that the knowledge comes from uh, subjective experience or whether whether you uh, assume that uh, like sufis say or mystics say that it's it's a uh, metaphysical experience you have to have you can't even describe those things and whether you are saying that scientific method can answer this and i would only take uh, this reliable uh, unquestionable uh, objective fact as fact i will as i will assume it as knowledge so your degree of uh, accepting and rejecting what constitutes a knowledge can change but the question itself is independent of how you are testing the knowledge how you are testing your uh, hypothesis so i don't see question uh, being really contradicted to science science is a method question is question and the why question was uh, uh, showing poor connection here am i audible so. okay so uh, until you are audible rashma let me ask a question i'll just take it up so basically the questions of why how what and uh, when where and and uh, i say who which yes or no all these things would happen in uh, science as well so as in philosophy but it, when when we get into the philosophy or spirituality or my, mysticism they don't have an answers uh, which which are objective because it's pretty much subjective so it's it's waste of touching that point so but when you come to the concept not of science not only, not only in science and philosophy it also happens in crime fighting and in instant reporting in medical everywhere right if for example a crime has happened police will come and start doing enquiry what does it mean enquiry they are also doing enquiry same like how philosophers do they have nothing they try to collect facts then they start questioning people question question if they answer something again the question so it's just not in science and this this is an enquiry methodology that's all whether it is philosophical or scientific the way you enquire right if it is too abstract you break it down you further ask more questions to break it down into smaller questions that's it in philosophy science and all these are flavors but finally it is only a ch- chocolate is a no, chocolate no, no, no. whether it is a- saying everything uh, everything follows the same method then but the art- thing any any time when you have an abstract question you want to use a question to Uh, if when we to- see based i'm talking on a topic where will you get question out of a question in that angle i'm talking a question can a question to a question cannot be an answer but a question can uh, to a question can become a knife which is chopping down the bigger question into smaller uh, smaller questions where the question can be answerable but a question to a question will never become an answer by itself okay uh, see i think it's not about the questions we ask it's about the method right so in science we have scientific method to uh, answer every question we ask be it why question what question or which question or how question right uh, when it comes to philosophy we really don't have a method it's more about speculation and it's more about intros- introspection etc so i think we need not focus on the questions but we rather we need to focus on the method so long but but in even in philosophy they dissect they go deeper and they try to understand each and everything 
Uh, the method is same, but the output could be different. No, no. The method, as in uh, when you are talking about science, we have something known as scientific method, right? Now, this is a very, oh, as Ravana pointed out, this is something. It, it's a very strict, uh, narrow method. When it comes to philosophy, we we can use any method. It's broad. You can use the analytics, or mm -hmm. you can. The, the great do... mother, there is a lot different than the new. In science, you are wanting to get the results. Whereas in philosophy, you're wanting to get the reasons. There are two different things, right? One is results and one is reasons. So as long as it is a reasonable reason, you accept in philosophy and you go forward. If you don't have the result, you don't go forward in science. Science is purely result-oriented. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, I agree with that. Okay, can you invite Mr. Varun and I think Johnson and Syed up while they yeah. Nikhil is silent from our eye. Yeah, Nikhil, what happened, man? Nothing. <laughs> he's, he's more into <laughs> like very knowledgeable only, concepts only. Okay, Nikhil, let me ask you your favorite question. So, um, I know you will take time to explain, but then tell me, um, is there any approach in uh, from Indian side? Um, in, I mean, Indian philosophical thoughts from uh, ancient Indian philosophical thoughts, where the question, where the question is an answer for question, and uh, and that has helped reached uh, that has helped the questioner reach a conclusion. In your perspective, yeah, yeah, there is there is one thing, but. Uh... You have to be fast though. We have to it, is not like, it is not like scientific oriented. So I don't it's want to okay, go into okay. just, scientific we, stuff. We, we are just uh, inquiring all aspects. But I now that I got the point that uh, for the scientific uh, questions, we have a method to, to arrive at a uh, conclusion. And in that method also, we can ask questions. But again, that is dependent on the method. So scientific uh, conclusion has a very linear approach. It has a... Uh, step one, step two, step three, and that's how it goes. Right, Ravana? That's what I understand. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, like what's there to explain further? It is what oh. it is. It's, it's so boring. Yeah, okay. Is, so I didn't get you. Can you repeat? Can you repeat here, mind speak? I didn't get you. What did you just say about science? So it's I said it's boring. linear approach to science. <laughs> It's definitely uh, not linear approach. For, frankly speaking, that's what I'm saying. If it's a very complex problem, what do you want to solve? For example, you have a health issue. Uh, medicine is science, right? If you agree medicine is science, then if you have a complex issue, then it might be a factor of many things, right? Maybe a function of your uh, blood. Uh, to, they do They do definitely doing non-linear way of testing you. They're not just testing one after another, one after another. They're simultaneously testing many of the parameters. Yeah, the approach, I'm talking about the method. I'm not talking about the testing. No, you, you're confusing my comment. So I'm talking yeah. about the method. The scientific method is linear. So that could, they could test, they could test your blood, they could test your urine, still they are doing the same. Uh, oh my God, oh my God. I'm coming, uh, Yeah, there, there is a difference between uh, deduction and reasoning and uh, what, uh, you're, you're talking about deduction and reasoning and MindSpeak is talking about scientific method in general sense. Like he, he means linear as much as I understand, he means linear because like if you're giving a certain uh, constraints, if you're testing something, you and I won't get different results. It's obviously what it is. He doesn't need to argue to argue about that. We can argue about like what we need to test. We can argue about how we need to interpret the outcomes. That is a separate thing. But the method itself will give you straightforward answers. Like if you test, a, test for benzene, you will get benzene. Yeah, uh, I want to yeah, Nikhil, let's, uh, let's explore the philosophical bit. Yeah, from in Indian, Indian perspective, uh, there is a method called Chetish coating. Have you ever listened to that? Chetish coating, fourfold logic. Ravana, bro? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So Chetushkoti is a 
a logic system uh there you if you question a question if you if you want to ask a question uh this was proposed by nagarjuna uh, in his uh philosophy of uh, madhyamika philosophy he said if you ask any question like uh and he said any question he 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 split that question into four four logical approach approaches and he proves that uh there is no answer for that uh, that question I, if you if you say uh, there is a there is a being like uh, there is a being like uh, soul if you think uh, a human have a soul he says that uh, in first law lo- in logic there is a soul and there is not a, uh, there is no soul there is a soul and there is no soul there is neither soul there is no soul so he splits into uh, four logical uh, thing and he, he says that these four with these four questions have no logic uh, logicality in it so uh, so for every question like uh, not only this for every question he he splits into four uh, like what what is i don't know what telu la cheptha and english lo epram kanja kashtam bro okay okay fine no problem alu 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 native english pan cheppe 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 ya oka logical approach lo alu alternatives isukuntadu soul undi soul ledu soul undi ledu like ok nimisha తీసుకొని వాటిని నెగేట్ చేస్తాడు లైక్ ఇప్పుడు మనకి పీ తీసుకున్నాం అనుకో నాట్ పీ అని ఒకటి ఉంటుంది ఇప్పుడు కార్ ఉంది అనుకో కార్ లేదు అనొచ్చు కార్ ఉంది అనొచ్చు లేదు అనొచ్చు సో ఇట్లా లాజిక్ ని మనం ఎంత డివైడ్ చేసినా అది ఫోర్ ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ గా మారుతుంది అంటే వెస్టర్న్ లో అయితే బైనరీ అంటే లైక్ రెండుగా చూస్తారు ఉంది లేదు అనే టర్మ్స్ లో చూస్తారు కానీ ఇండియన్ ఫిలాసఫీలో దాని నాలుగు ఆల్టర్నేటివ్స్ గా తీసుకుంటారు సో వాళ్ళ నాగార్జున మాధ్యమిక చెప్తాడు కాబట్టి ఆయన నాలుగు లాజికల్ నెసెసిటీస్ ని రిజెక్ట్ చేస్తాడు ఆయన యాక్చువల్లీ ఆయన ప్రూవ్ చేయాలనుకునేది ఏంటంటే ఈ నాలుగు ఆల్టర్నేటివ్స్ లో పాసిబుల్ కాదు ఒక ఫిఫ్త్ ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ ఉంది ఆ ఫిఫ్త్ ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ లో పాసిబుల్ అవుతుంది అని చెప్తాడు సో ఆ ఫిఫ్త్ ఫిఫ్త్ ఆల్టర్నే ఆ ఫిఫ్త్ ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ ఏంటంటే శూన్యత హలో యా నిఖిల్ వినిపిస్తుందా యా వినిపిస్తుంది ఓకే ఓకే థాంక్స్ థాంక్ యూ నిఖిల్ సో మనం వరుణ్ దగ్గర అభిప్రాయం తీసుకొని లెట్స్ కంక్లూడ్ ద రూమ్ ఎందుకంటే మనకు స్పీకర్స్ కూడా తక్కువ వినరు ఎంత రూమ్ సమ్టైమ్ వరుణ్ వాట్ ఈస్ యువర్ ఒపీనియన్ ఆన్ దిస్ టాపిక్ హై మెన్స్ వెయిట్ thanks for my new stage uh, so uh, elon musk's uh, favorite book is uh, the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy uh, in that book uh, at towards the end the main character goes to a planet where there's the most intelligent being or something like that and he asks he asks it what's the meaning of the universe and the answer he gets is 42 and he's confused and he asks again and again i still don't know i still have, i don't understand and then it replies uh, the answer is pretty easy uh, yeah but you, uh, you you should probably be asking the right questions and so uh, so so you almost uses that example to to illustrate the importance of asking good questions uh, right and and he, he phrases that in a different way he says the universe is your answer 
but what is your question so all we need all our answers are, are in front of us the, the things that happen in the universe the things are that are in the universe but what what is important is uh, the question that we ask for example he builds a rocket company he built a rocket company and we have to build rockets so there are so many ways of building rockets you could build a small rocket big rocket all kinds of rockets stage rocket and all of that now his important question uh, so his question the way he frames his question will decide what kind of a company it becomes if his if the question is too open ended like i just want to build a good rocket company he won't develop it anywhere because uh, because so many answers to that now he has to frame his question a better way say i have, I have to reach mars uh, uh, but if, even that has so many questions so then he has to narrow it down to have to reach mars in these many days even that has a lot of alternatives then you have to say after each march and these many days with uh, this much cost right so so, so, uh, so that has narrowed down his design and now he's built a machine that is exactly fit for that uh, issue so yeah it, 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 it's used to illustrate the importance of questions and i think they are very important in life so we shouldn't be neglecting them because we have all all these methods to come up with answers like, like scientific method and so on Uh, but uh, the only way to come up with good questions is just a creativity and imagination right so we have, it's very difficult to come up with hard questions and and the right questions so maybe the answer is not uh, maybe in the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy the, uh, 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 the right question is not uh, what's the meaning of the universe maybe it's something like where is the universe headed to where am i headed or or, or is, is the universe trying to explain something or you know something like like that or or what should i be doing towards other human beings how should they treat me how should i treat them you know all, all these other questions are probably more important and they and they might have a more meaningful answer so we are probably asking the wrong the wrong questions in life too open ended so it's, it's really hard to come up with uh, a, a question that narrows down uh, a possibility and leads us where we really want to go uh, so trying to figure out what we want is that big question that's really important right so uh, yeah, yeah i just want to illustrate that obviously it seems like our answers are where we end uh, but really trying to find the answers is almost straight forward in in today's world uh, uh, computers and methods and so on so so, uh, so right questions where it is to where it's at um, yeah uh, and and also if you don't ask the right uh, questions you can be misled sometimes in a, in a different direction so so a question defines a direction uh, whereas an answer is just a, a, on its way so so if a direction is wrong no matter where the path leads us it will still be wrong yeah that's all i had to say thank you so much thank you varun so once i used to have uh, whenever i used to write an email in the signature i used to put take care of the cause effect takes care of itself so one of my colleague started making fun of me and he wrote back saying take care of the effect you don't have any cause so uh, it is always like that right so when you have a question if you question the question why did you have that question in the first place then you go in a different direction you try to answer the question you go in a different direction so it's basically an anchor point a question is an anchor point and you want to go preceding or post it depends on how you want to do it so anyway uh, a complex question has to be questioned further to make it a simpler question to answer then you'll get your answer but a question to a question cannot be an answer by itself Uh, that's what is the understanding as of now thank you very much for uh, everybody so uh, there is a uh, philosophy which uh, mind speak has set for mind speak uh, rooms that it should not go beyond 1 hour so we have just concluded 1 hour so we are closing the room for now and uh, we'll come up with a new topic again keep watching mind speak thank you everybody see you bye ending the room